Welcome back to the Beef and Bargy channel. This time we're coming to you with a Real Talk review on the Roto Grip Attention Star. 248 049 017 Monster Core. This is probably going to be the best looking ball we see all year, in my opinion. Uh, and we're going to start like we usually do. We're going to throw it out here on the gutter and we're going to see what we got today. No shortage of hook on the gutter. House shot, so no surprise. I'm here at Aunt F. Louisville, my home center. 17 and 18 today, one of the better pairs in the house, I, I guess in theory. Uh, this covers e tracks Pearl. Uh, off that, that's about, a, I don't know, 10 board move or so. I stood on 10, looked at three. This is 20. Actually, that was pretty close. So, uh, we have a monster, we have a monster core here. Uh, medium low RG, super high diff, big ASIM. So this one's gonna pick up as it goes down. I'm gonna move a little bit left just to see what's, what's left and what it does. Will it make it back or not? All right, there's some oil in there and there's a little friction too. So with that, we'll just get started. All right, like I said, E-Trax Pearl cover stock. This is a pretty strong Pearl cover stock. Pin position wise, this is a tall five inch pin. Uh, mass is about four and a half and we're about three inches from my VAL there. So we'll move a little in off of that and we'll see what happens. You see, kind of on the smooth side uh, for a pearl ball, it's really not having any trouble picking up. So that cover must be pretty strong. That's my initial. We will throw a Zen Gold, uh, we'll throw a Vivo, Virtual Energy Blackout, and we will throw a uh, Absolute Power, just kind of see everything. Yeah. It's going through them okay, even though it's on the, a little on the smoother side, so. Towel went. All right. Oh, they're right there. Duh. All right. Let's add a little rotation. So again, going from 12, I'm going to move my thumb over around 10 and kind of do everything else about the same. Got a little right there. Still stayed pretty smooth off of it. Didn't create wet dry, which a lot of times with pearl reactive balls, that's kind of what you're worried about is, uh, is them overhooking when it hits the dry. Not too much of an issue there. Spare game getting sharper for the US Open next week, huh? All right, well, let's move a little to the right. I'm gonna move about five right. Kind of get a little soft in my hand, a little weaker wrist position, but. Didn't bounce off of it, that's for sure. We'll throw the absolute power at the spare. Now I will say for a house shot, this has quite a bit of oil on it. SPL is a high friction surface, so it makes your ball pick up in the front. And even somebody like us, sometimes we have a hard time telling whether the ball is picking up too much in the front or if it's too much in the back. So we'll get a little slower, we'll move into war oil, and we'll see if it saves energy better or not. It appears it does. So that tells me that the ball's reading pretty early. So even though it's not changing directions, it's starting to lose energy going to it. So, tells me it's a pretty strong cover. We'll throw a blackout here pretty soon. We'll see if that's that cover stronger or weaker. Kind of back to the stock release. Get it right a little faster. Yo! Oh, attention, star missing. Rolls in the mid lane, it's really good that way. So I think if you're a player with rotation, if you have some wet dry in your league, but the hook in the front, I think this is gonna be okay, because uh, 
I mean, really, just throw that softer one. Let's get a little closer to it again, see what happens. Ah, you get it out on top of that friction. It likes friction and it rolls off of it. It's not bouncy, it's not getting really skittish off of it. So you're not have to worry about being a little oversensitive. So response time, this is gonna be in the middle. I thought maybe it might be like an X2 or something that's super, super sharp, but really I think it's gonna be more of a middle of the road, you know, more of a middle of the bag control ball. Uh, this goes slower and add rotation and see what it looks like. Missed in and kind of thumbed it. That wasn't very good. I know it's never my fault, but maybe, just maybe that time it was. All right. Let's try that one one more time. Let me give it a fair shot. Yeah, that was a little better shot. So, strong in the mid lane. You got Pearl, it's, it's Reactive Gloss, e tracks Pearl cover stock. That e tracks Pearl seems like it's awfully strong because uh, it has no problem reading, even though, uh, even though there is polish there. So, uh, we get up against it and we throw it firm. Smooth continuation there. So, it seems like one of those balls that has a little, a little gradual, I would say in the medium, uh, actually, I wouldn't say slow response, but uh, predictable for sure. So, with, this, with that, let's go throw up against a couple other balls. Uh, first, we'll throw against an absolute power, and even though core-wise, these are somewhat similar, number-wise. Not the same, I understand. But, uh, R2S deep, a little stronger cover, We'll throw it from the same spot and see what happens. That's what I would expect out of a ball that's got more surface on it and in general a stronger cover. So absolute power is gonna be earlier than the attention star. I think the next ball that makes sense is a Vibo. So the absolute power is drilled very similar to the attention star. This is actually a lower pin. So in theory, it should be a little uh, smoother drilling, but uh, well, we'll just see. Ooh, that's in the oil. I would say it went longer, but once it saw it, way more responsive. So this is kind of where it's gonna slide into. The absolute power is gonna be earlier, the virtual energy blackout is going to be longer, so we have a couple of options in there that uh, where this can slot in. I'll go ahead and move quite a bit for the spare and just see. Yeah, the virtual energy blackout has way more angular in the back, so response times, it's going to be a little bit closer to the absolute power, but it's not as early. It's going to be cleaner getting to that. Now, last ball I want to throw is just a tall pin. Zen Gold. Uh, cleaner cover and it's symmetrical, so just more of an idea of where it kind of fits in the overall arsenal of things. You can see a little more responsive once it got to the friction, it was a little sharper off of it. It was a little earlier, but in, with the core, you could feel it kind of blend out, but the cover stock itself was more responsive. So. That's kind of where we find a balance. It is different from the other balls, for sure. But, uh, uh, you know, medium low response time, pearl cover, so it gets through the front pretty easy, strong in the mid lane, blends out the wet dry. If you're a player who is, uh, you know, struggles with that wet dry, you got a lot of rotation, this is gonna be a pretty good one for you. Somewhere where you need to blend it out. Uh, you like to use angle, but the angles get too sharp. Uh, again, I think this is it, and it looks fantastic. February 16th, this ball comes out. Uh, if you like this, go to your pro shop. You can pre-order it. If you like our jerseys, Stu's jersey, our competition jerseys, go to coolwick.com. You can get those and put in Barnsey10 with a Z. That'll get you 10% off, or go to beefandbarnsey.com 
and we got a lot of merchandise over there and you can get yourself one of those as well. Appreciate that if you would as always. Support the sponsors who support us. If you like this review, please like, share, subscribe, and uh, come back for the next Real Talk Review with the Beef and Barnsley Channel.